So in this video, we'll take a look at Astavakra Gita. It is also known as Song of Self-Realization. And it is one of those rarest book which talks about what exactly we are and what exactly we are not in extreme detail. And if you know, so if you see, uh, so far we have covered in these different video series books like uh, Bhagavad Gita, books like uh, uh, Eightfold Path, Noble Eightfold Path by Buddha, uh, different meditations, Samatha, Vipassana, these sort of things. And they are generally very, very targeted towards everybody, right? They try to uh, teach everybody how one should live, how one should not live, what is the dharma, what is the dharma, uh, what should what is the karma and how one should act according to the dharma so one should one lead a better quality of life right in a way that is all uh, designed to teach how you live a better quality of life how you live a more decent life how you live a life which leads to contentment satisfaction and meaning in the life that sort of thing right so these practices and these sort of books were mainly designed around that and then they start to nudge you towards self-realization. All the books, all the traditions, right? They start from most basic, they start from most uh, outer layer, how you should act so that you don't get yourself in trouble. Then they go into mind and then they go into intelligence and these kind of things. But they give you the nudge towards, you know, the self-realization is important. But they don't really talk about it. You know, they just touch on it and then they leave it. But they don't really talk about it. The... And then there are books like Who Am I by Raman Maheshi and these people are masters in Vedanta. And with the Raman Maheshi and the masters like Raman Maheshi, they talks a lot about what exactly you are not, right? We covered the Who Am I and he talks a lot about what exactly you are not and then he touch around the edges of what exactly you are, right? He, taught, he talks about you are the awareness, consciousness, truth, uh, bliss, awareness, consciousness, bliss, uh, awareness the truth, consciousness and bliss and these sort of things. He talks about, he touches around the edges what exactly you are and then he talks a lot about what exactly you know, you are not. So he, he kind of breaks down our beliefs about ourselves that we have just believed that we are the body and all these kind of things, right? So he, he, he focused there. He tried to cut down these beliefs and, you know, he nudges you more in the direction of self-realization, what exactly you are. He makes it it makes it more serious question for you, right? The person who gets to that level will feel more sincere about exactly knowing what exactly I am if I am not all this, right? But again, Raman Maheshi doesn't go much more deeper into what exactly you are, right? And it is, I think it is done with a purpose because if something like self-realization is talked a lot about, uh, you know, if Buddha talked a lot about that or Bhagavad Gita talks a lot about that, then what happens is it is going to end up building a belief you have to have an enough depth of awareness to make the sense of something like that, to first feel like this is an important thing to understand, this is an important question to ask. And then also, it needs to work on this, like, this layer of depth, right? If I if I'm, have no depth of awareness, if my mind is extremely active and extremely terminus, and, you know, that sort of a state, if somebody tells me what exactly you are and all that, First of all, it won't register and then it, I might end up building belief about it, right? And that will that kind of a belief system will be even more dangerous for me because then I won't be able to work properly, right? If I have some sort of that kind of a belief going on that I am not this, I am not that, it will become even more difficult for me to act in the world. So Astavakra also comes with this fair caution that this is not a beginner level books. This is not something uh, you should be doing if you're just starting on the spirituality or if you just started um, this journey of going inside, Astavakra is assuming that you have done the preliminary practices. You have done the meditation, you have done the, you have gone through, you know, basic morality of the life, you have gone through these books like Bhagavad Gita and all that. And then if you are interested in this question of who am I, and then if you are interested in the self, and hopefully these practices make you interested in the self, then Astravakra tells you what exactly you are. And Astravakra goes into detail. Astravakra is not touching on the edges. Astravakra goes into real detail what exactly you are and what exactly you are not. And it is going as deep as the Indian wisdom tradition has to offer. Right? So it is considered one of the pinnacle of wisdom 
in Indian tradition books in Vedanta system, right? And it is it is uh, hold into very high esteem by the great masters like uh, Raman Maheshi, actually. In fact, once I was in the Raman Maheshi's ashram, I was going through Trivandamalai. So I visited his uh, ashram where he used to live. And it is a very lively place right now, there. Uh, so I was surprised to know, first of all, they have a library. So in the library, they have all the books which are, um, you know, something that Raman Maheshi would recommend for people to read. And Ashtavakra is, of course, one of them. And I was surprised to know that they actually chant Ashtavakra every day morning, right? The Ashtavakra chanting going on. Uh, something like Raman Maheshi won't expect like chanting and all these things are going on. But it's, it's a kind of a surprising that Raman Maheshi or people of the caliber of Raman Maheshi uh, esteem something like Ashtavakra extremely high. So this is, a, this is a beautiful book. And the subject of the book is even more beautiful, right? What exactly we are, right? Very, 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 very few books uh, talked about these kind of things, right? Very few books, uh, you know, very, very few books have that insight, that level of depth to talk about something like this, yeah? So we'll go into Astravakra Gita. And uh, of course, the warning here before we go, and you will see this probably in almost every video that you will watch on the YouTube or Astravakra, that before you're jumping into something like Astravakra, there is a fair caution that you should have done the preliminary practice, right? It's not a starting level book. So you, in fact, it is considered very advanced, not exactly very advanced, but it is actually the topic that it talks about is very subtle, right? The talking about the self is very subtle, right? So it's assuming that you have done the preliminary practices, you have done, you have gone through books like Bhagavad Gita, you have, you know, implement those teachings in your life, you have done all these things, and now, if you are interested in self, the Astravakra offers a lot of explanation on what exactly is the self, right? So, it gives you this, uh, you know, let's say if you are meditating, uh, you might be having a lot of experiences, but Astravakra explain that experience. Astravakra tells you what exactly you are. And uh, without a book like Astravakra, our basic understanding would be uh, that I am the awareness, I am the consciousness, right? But I don't really know the nature of awareness and the consciousness, right? And the Astavakra goes in more detail of what exactly is this consciousness? What is exactly is this awareness? Then it is mind-blowing what he explains. Right? So we'll go into this book in great detail, uh, step by step, and we'll take our time, and we'll see what Astavakra Gita has to tell about what exactly we are.